Hey, what's good with you? This is Brandy Foster. I'm an Android app developer at Detroit Labs, a mobile software company in Detroit. And uh, I'm here to invite you to take a journey with me. Um, recently, I went to a, a conference where I participated in a really cool workshop led by a coworker of mine where we brainstormed ideas to get more women in the tech field. I brought up that many women don't enter the field because they weren't introduced to STEM activities as children. I mean, it's way better today than when I was a girl and my choices were Barbies or baby dolls, but things could definitely get better. And I decided I wanted to be a part of the solution. And then I came home and I played Xbox with my sons. I was born and raised in Detroit. I live around the corner from where I grew up, actually, like three blocks away from where my mom stays now. And my boys go to a neighborhood public school. It's a fantastic school that's filled with staff that like, really care about the students, but like most inner city public schools, it doesn't have the funds to afford technology in the classrooms or even technology classes like computer science or robotics. Pretty much it, it doesn't have anything more than a handful of computers where kids get a few word processing classes. I started thinking about how hard it is as a parent who wants the best for your children when you are limited by your own knowledge. My sons always ask me for help with their Minecraft worlds and honestly, I'm completely lost. My mother still has me set up any technology she buys. There's like this weird delayed cycle of technology education where we aren't taught what we need to know until we're in the workforce. And then we go back and add that to our children's curriculum, but by then it's already stale. And then they grow up and the cycle just continues. Which brings us to what we're doing here. The delay in updating educational curriculums combined with the digital divide some children experience based only on their socioeconomic status means that not every child gets exposed to technology, which then means that they may never choose to pursue a career in technology, which then creates a diversity issue that we have into the technology field today. And I realized that as a black woman who's raised in a lower socioeconomic neighborhood who decided midlife to pursue her passion for technology, that I could share what I learned in the world in hopes that with knowledge being power, we can make a difference in the next generation. So I'm starting this series for parents, guardians, teachers, mentors, whoever is listening, to assist us as adults with encouraging our youth to investigate technology as a passion, and possibly a profession. And this is important, because STEM is the future. It is the fastest growing industry in the world, and it's way more than just working in laboratories or solving enormous equations. It includes engineering, healthcare, hardware and software development, design, but most importantly, innovation. And we all know that innovation is the key to the future, but innovation is diversity. And as we solve the world's problems, it's vital that we have different minds from varied backgrounds coming together in the process. That's why people get second opinions in the medical field. The more points of view, the more we're able to see. So we have to do what we can to increase the diversity in our problem solvers, especially since one day the problem may be how they care for us when we're old. So how are we gonna do this? Hopefully this will be a fun series. No. Not hopefully. It will be a fun series. It's going to be chock full of games, puzzles, exercises, and activities that you can do with the kids in your life. All of them will be STEM-focused fun. One of the things that I learned about being a good software developer is that it takes way more than an ability to write good code. So I'll be sharing some other things that will strengthen our teamwork, personal development, and communication muscles. And we're in this together. So speaking of teamwork, what I want you to do is share with me any great ideas, anything that you're doing in your home or in your classrooms that you think uh, would be great to share with the rest of the world. Tell your friends to tell your friend, tell their friends. We'll leave that in there. And then tell your kids to tell their teachers because the more diversity we have in this journey, the more innovative solutions we'll create. And that's it for now. Uh, tune in next time as we'll be doing some really cool things about getting your left brain and right brain work together.